welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression video on the Laneige Neo Cushion Glow. So I purchased this from Korea. Recently I just came back. I did a whole haul video at all of Young, so if you haven't watched it, I'm gonna link it somewhere up here so you guys can enjoy that. I didn't really talk about Laneige products because I didn't actually buy any at Laneige. Instead, I went to the actual store. I was curious about it because um, they have this new technology where you can actually customize your foundation. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a uh, appointment to do so. I walked in anyways just to see, you know, is there any products that we don't have here in Canada? And this was one of them. I, I don't think they have it here. I mean, I have seen it on sale maybe online at maybe Salvana. Um, it does retail for about 45,000 won, which is about 46, 47 dollars Canadian. Um, I, of course, I didn't just buy this. I walked out with $100 worth of products, <laughs> really. So, but this is what I wanted to try today and of course do a whole full first impression and let you guys know how I feel about it. So this actually comes in six different shades. This is the glow version. So the Neo line actually comes in matte and glow. I chose glow because I'm not much of a matte kind of girl. I like that glowy look. I love that hydration that they have in these products. It doesn't claim to be obviously full coverage. It's more like medium buildable coverage, has lots of skincare goodies in them um, that of course helps you uh, moisturize your skin. It states that it's supposed to moisturize your skin for 24 hours, but honestly, I would never put on foundation and leave it on for 24 hours. So not something I can test that out and nor do I want to, right? Like I would definitely want to wash my face at the end of the day. So. Um, I got mine in 23N1 Sand. It also has SPF 46 PA triple plus. I did choose a darker shade because I always find like especially Korean um, cushion foundations or foundations in general, they lean towards like the lighter shade even though it states a, a darker shade. I did somewhat test it out um, in the store but honestly it was like the end of the day and I was like testing it out on here. So hopefully, this is the right shade and if not, you know, darker or, or whatnot, I can always adjust with whatever foundation I have at home, right? So this is the packaging. Very sleek, very compact. It's not your average circle one, so that's a nice little change. This is how it is on, in, on the inside. Uh, supposedly they changed the way they make their puffs. It's supposed to be softer, smoother, and adheres to your skin a lot more. Um, it does feel very nice considering it's like $46 for a cushion foundation. Like normally I spend like 30 bucks. But on the bright hand side, it comes with a refill. So that's always good, right? Like, so you're not just paying like $45 just for a cushion foundation. So that's nice and compact. I also pur purchased the foundation itself. So maybe I could do like a refill on here. But uh, yeah. Now that I brought you guys up close, I wanted to let you know I've only done my eyebrows, my eyes, and my lips. I have nothing on my skin. Um, because it's a cushion foundation and a state, it had all these like skin uh, care ingredients inside this one cushion. I thought, you know, why? Why would I need that, right? So I just thought I'm gonna just directly just use this and let's see how it feels. So just like any other cushion foundation, it's sealed on the inside. It. Oh, it's so satisfying when I open up a new one, hey? So from what I can see, it is lighter than my usual, you know, sand beige color. So um, I'm probably an in-between sand and beige, uh, which they do have that shade available. Um, so we'll see how it looks. I do have some breakout here. So obviously I want to see whether or not can this cushion foundation at least do any coverage on that. So like usual that. Let's start off here. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like a skincare, that's for sure. Oh, look at that glowy look already, right? Compared to the side. Dull, nothing much on there. And I think I did find the right shade. This is perfect, actually. So this is also claims to be hypoallergenic. So for people who worry about that, it's really good for sensitive skin. And as you can tell, it did cover up a bit of my breakout. 
So I have like about one layer on my skin. It actually looks really good. I'm gonna see if I can cover a little bit more of this area. Like you could probably already tell it's pretty much covered as much as it can be, but I wanna see if it's buildable. Definitely is. Now that I've zoomed back out, oh, I love it. Goes great on camera. And even just looking at myself in the mirror with natural lighting, it's great. It actually matches my skin tone. So I'm gonna obviously wear it as long as I can throughout the day so that I can give you guys a better sense of how it is. I am gonna run some errands today, so I'll be running around, so you'll probably be able to see, you know, did I sweat, did it smear, any of that, so. It is currently almost 10 um, in the morning. I know I started my day a little bit later than I was hoping to. So I will do a check-in middle of the day and of course towards the end of the day as well. So I thought I'd come back for a midday check-in. I've had this foundation on me for about three and a half hours. It's currently uh, 1.44. I went out, ran some errands, went out for lunch and you know just got back so yeah let me zoom in to show you guys how it still looks on my skin now that you guys are up close i'm not sure if you guys can see but i like how the fact that you know in my crevices of my nose it hasn't really seeped in but one of the things that i did notice is that it soothed out my pores usually my pores in my nose area is quite accentuating and it actually didn't like accentuate it even more Oh my, my frizzy hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it still looks nice and glowy. I haven't seen, you know, my oily T-zone area seep through just yet. So I quite like it at the moment. So I'm going to check in with you guys later today and give you guys my final thoughts. So now I'm back. It is 5.17 in the afternoon, or I guess early evening. So I've had this on for about a little over seven hours and I'm about to actually just remove this and like go and cook dinner. So I thought I would give you guys my final thoughts and how it actually looks like after it's been on my face for about seven hours. Unfortunately, the sun is down already, so I'm actually using my ring light. I'm trying my best to give you the best lighting that I can. So bear with me on this one. Okay, so you guys are now up close. You might think, oh, is there some shine here? Actually, it is not. It's honestly, it looks the same as if I've applied this on like seven hours ago. I love how it doesn't accentuate any of the crevices here. It didn't dry up. I usually um, have little fine lines here and normally the foundation would actually sit in on that and actually it's not bad. Um, it feels very light. Um, I do have some dry patches going on here. Um, but of course with a close up, you may or may not be able to tell that it did accentuate a little bit. It doesn't bother me that much. Like it's not drying to the point where, you know, I, I feel like I could just remove it right away. All right. So my final thoughts on this is I love this Laneige neo uh, line that they came out with i'm really into this whole like glowy kind of look and hydration because my skin type is oily in my t-zone area and dry on my cheek area and to be fair normally around five in the afternoon i can tell you this area this t-zone area is where you start seeping oil but you know what this time around it didn't maybe a little on my forehead because as you can tell the lighting from my ring light is like bouncing off my forehead. So you probably see a little bit of that, but you know, honestly, aside from that, everything else looks pretty good. I didn't reapply or anything. This is definitely compact enough where I can just throw it in my, uh, my bag. But when I went to run errands, I didn't do that. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> more the reason for I did not apply anything extra and nor did I do anything different. Um, I rubbed my nose a few times, so yes, it does come off, um, but it's not bad at all. Um, I do have big pores here, and it actually made it less visible, which is great. Um, 
and areas like my dry patches down here, it's not too bad, honestly. It's really not too bad. And honestly, for the pricing, you're pretty much having like a skin care regime inside a foundation, which is something that I really, really like. Um, honestly, these two-in-ones and having SPF as well in it is like a bonus. So if you guys are in Korea and you happen to be in Myeongdong area, drop by Laneige. You know, this is not sponsored in any way. I just picked it up and I really wanted to try it out and give you guys my, um, I guess my thoughts on it and a first impression. Um, $45 that comes with a refill, not bad at all. Of course, you can also purchase this, I believe online as well, but of course you're also risking the fact that whether these uh, shades actually work for you. Um, of course, being in store and actually testing it out is probably the best. Um, but of course, if you are similar to me, um, I think I'm usually like a beige kind of shade, then you will probably do well with this color, um, which I have is 23 and one sand. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, remember to give me that thumbs up and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.